I want to show you something you probably never knew you could do in Azure. Purchase a domain name. Let's get started. Hello, how are you doing? Welcome to yet another video from Dara Olada 4. I'm glad you're joining me today. Today, I want to show you how you can purchase a domain name in Azure. Something you probably maybe know or probably never knew you could do with Azure. Purchasing a domain name in Azure is as easy as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up until 7. The process are easy and that is what I want to show you today. It costs just about $11.99, so let's go check it out. The first thing I want to do is ensure I've created my resource group which I think is really essential for getting started with creating anything in Azure. I want to put that in the resource group. So I'll go to create a resource and I will add on to search for app service domain. That is the name of the service in Azure. You can just search for domain name to bring that up also. But you search for app service domain when you click on create a resource in Azure and it will give you the app service domain option. You select that and you can check out the plans available and all that but pretty much uh all that is there for you to just read through you click on create and what shows up next for you is to fill some forms which leads us to the second step where you just fill some basic information about what you need to do uh you pick the subscription you want to use you select the resource group or create a new one in case you want to do that and of course, you see that it costs you just about $11.99 per domain name that you buy with Azure. Then what you do next is you put in the domain name you likely want to buy. So Azure checks if that domain name is available or not. If it's not, it gives you suggestions of the available domain names. You can pick from the options or just go ahead and search again until you find what you're looking for. If it's not available, you probably need to do a domain transfer, but that is definitely another video. So, I think I find one I like. So, what I'll do is I'll go on to fill in my contact information. When I go to fill in my contact information, it will ask me for basic information. This is for me to be able to register with ICANN. That is the Institute of uh, Internet Practitioner something something. I've forgotten what that full name uh, is. But pretty much I'll fill in my name, my email address, my billing address. Uh, so that takes a couple of moments. I fill in my country, my state, my phone number, my city, my postcode, and all those little bits of information. So I just part through that right now. Of course, I don't show you my personal details. <laughs> so let's get started. Well, I'll show you probably my country and all other information that is publicly available, but a lot of ones I wouldn't show you. And once I'm done filling all the contact information, what I'll do next is check some more advanced options. When I click on advanced options, what happens next is I can decide to renew the domain name automatically or manually. I can also activate privacy protection, which in Azure comes at no extra charge. I think something that's really cool. But don't worry, you can always transfer your domain name out of Azure just in case you do not want to use Azure to host your domain name anymore. But I'm done with that, so I'll go ahead and set my tags, which I think is essential for anything you're creating in Azure. So I'll set my tags, do not delete equals true. That is just for me to know that I shouldn't delete this resource. And I set some policies not to delete so. So I'll go ahead and do the final review and be sure everything is fine. And then once I'm happy with that, I'll click on create. That takes a couple of moments to create so what is going on in the background is that it's going ahead to register my domain name bill me either use my azure credit or use the credit card information i have saved in my account to do that it takes a couple of moments to finally get that up and running and then it will tell me my resources ready to use so i can start using my domain name right away once it tells me the resource is ready then it's ready so what I want to do next is go to that resource and check out the things that are created for me. So what happens in the background is it creates a DNS zone for me in Azure and then of course the domain name. So I can go ahead and manage my DNS records where I can add A records, TXC record, MX record, SVI records and all kind of DNS records I normally would add on other domain name service providers. 
So that's pretty much it. I can go check the access control. I can go to advanced if I want to do some more zone settings. I can go to my username Binance if I want to bind it to all the domain names. I can check the renewal settings and all that. Yeah, that's about it, people. I hope you have enjoyed this video. That is how you purchase a domain name in Azure. Let me know if you're thinking about doing that. Actually, it's something that's really fun. I discovered it many years ago. And who knows why haven't I created a video on it? But I've done that today. So let me know if you're thinking of using Azure to purchase your domain names. And of course, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Tell your friends about it. Share it and subscribe to my channel just in case you haven't. Till I come your way again with another video. Stay safe. and. Goodbye.